All right, so Friday, a body was found in Union Spring, Alabama. Since then, it has been confirmed that it is NCAA Youngboy. Now, if you don't know who that is, he is the NBA Youngboy lookalike. He also be with Clutch 318 Money. But Clutch is the Kevin Gates lookalike. It's a whole bunch of lookalikes. I mean, like, I, they find lookalikes for everybody. And um, they do skits and a lot of comedy. And it's very entertaining. And I'm a huge fan of Clutch 318 Money. And in the few times he didn't heart in my comments or responded to my comments, I'm telling you, I screened like two drops of P came out. Like, huge, huge, huge fan. Been following him for some years now. As well as NCAA Youngboy. Um, in fact, one of NCAA Youngboy's fake pages had requested um, my friend just you know requested to be my friend on instagram and i almost lost my mind then had to call my friend girl back like girl that ain't even him this a fake ass page you know like so you know it was four to five minutes before i did investigating to see was it really him i was so excited that you know he followed me on instagram but it, it wasn't him it was a fake but anyway this that I'm still lost for words because this really hurts my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like this really, really hurts my feelings, and it is, has taken me the longest to try to make this video. But I just really want to just send my condolences out to his family, to Clutch, and everyone that you know has collabed with him and done skits with him. And everything because I know that that young man's energy is going to be missed. You know, you can tell he goofy as hell. You can tell like when he in the room, it's never a dull moment. Like you gonna laugh at something, even if he was just a walk in the room, just bust out and go to laughing. Everybody gonna laugh, and then like, what we laughing at? You know, like he, his energy was just off the roof. You know, and. It's a lot of rumors going around as to who did the what's, but Clutch had made a video, and he had stated in the video, like, as far as the rumors with people affiliated with NBA Youngboy having something to do with it, you know, he really don't feel that way because NCAA Youngboy had, you know, close connections to a lot of people affiliated with NBA Youngboy. Clutch said, you know... NCAA, what he call him, Lil Peanut, even would talk to Sharonda on the phone, you know. But I could tell this is really, really weighing heavy on Clutch Hart. And I can tell, like, Clutch is kind of blaming himself and kind of, you know, like, got a lot of guilt and remorse for the simple fact that he said that, um, you know, days before this happened that like I say he referred to him as Lil Peanut had called him you know a couple of days in a row trying to get back down to Louisiana and it's and it's like the vibe that Clutch was giving off like that conversation was kind of deep and it's weighing in on his mind like he going over that conversation over and over and um like the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, the what ifs are playing a role right now with Clutch because Clutch said that at the time that Lil Peanut, as he referred to him as, had hit him up trying to, you know, get back to Louisiana, he had some other things going on basically, and he didn't get back in touch with him like he should have. And you know, when stuff like that happen, you kind of start blaming yourself. Like, I feel like Clutch feel like, damn, if I would have went and got my brother, like, he'd still been here. You know, 
you you really can't put yourself in that position when things like this happen because that guilt is overwhelming you know and that's why my heart go out to clutch because i can feel his pain let's say he heartbroken let's say this is a sick feeling and just being a fan this really hurts me like in the pit of my stomach you know so i can only imagine to somebody that broke bread with you know ncaa somebody that looked out for him somebody that you know, just was with him, you know, like Clutch say, that was like his brother, you know, he lived with him for a long time, they butted heads over stupid stuff, but that's what brothers do, you know, that's what sisters do, that's just what family do, you know, and the real just gonna make up and come back, so NCAA knew it was his time to get back out from down there, and you know, he probably felt like something was about to pop off and he was trying to get away from down there. You know, we don't ever know what influencers or, um, you know, vloggers and just people, entertainers on social media. You don't ever know what they are going through when that camera goes off. All y'all see is the entertaining part until somebody comes along and try to dox them or until they get in some trouble and hit the news or something. You really don't know what people really are going through when those cameras are off, you know, and, you know, some people are saying, like I said, about the whole NBA young boy affiliates having something to do with it, and some people just saying, you know, this was just some hood shit, just some street shit, whole lot of gang shit, you know. But at the end of the day, this young man has lost his life and will tremendously be missed, you know, like on TikTok and Instagram and with Clutch and the gang, you know, like that whole little crew it, it, the energy is just not going to be the same. Like, with skits with him not in it, you could tell he not in them. You know, and, like, future videos, it's, it's just going to be a little off without him. Like, real life, real speaking. But I just, man, it, this, this really hurt my feelings, y'all. My heart go out to, you know, everybody that know him and that will truly, truly miss him from being around him on a day-to-day basis. So, I'm going to let y'all go because I didn't even intend for this video to be that long. But I just wanted y'all to know that he was the body. It was confirmed that it was him. And that as of now, we know that the cause of death was gunshot wounds. So... Any other updates comes up as far as any leads, any suspects, anything like that, I will try to keep y'all updated on what's going on on this case. And until then, I'll see y'all in the comments. Make sure y'all smash that like. And this your girl Money Stacks. I'm signing out. Samooches. Peace.